Hi and again welcome in uh, my short video about discrete operational amplifier by Aclium. Aclium, Aclium I think is the right way to pronounce the name. And these are fully discrete operational dual channel amplifiers that you can get from the producer uh, for about uh, 15, no, 12 dollars per piece. $12 per unit so you can see the equivalent of $12, $24 including shipping here. Uh, these are fully discrete operational amplifiers meaning that all of the parts of this operational amplifier are discrete. As you can see we have some transistors, we have some diodes, we have some resistors here, some capacitors maybe somewhere uh, and uh, these are uh, why, why do actually why would you need something like that? Uh, these sound better than integrated operational amplifiers that you can get for your devices. Um, the the thing is that the uh, integrated ones are smaller, so they are easier to um, to place uh, in your units, uh, but they usually do not sound uh, as good ones uh, as good as the discrete ones. Um, I've done some comparison uh, between uh, Burson uh, 5 1, 5, sorry, V5 Duals, uh, this Aclium RC2A modules, uh, Bull Brown, uh, which is right now Texas Instruments OPA 6 to 7 uh, operational amplifiers, some AD 8 uh, to 7, and a couple of others, I think LM4256 uh, ones and these were the best uh, sounding ones uh, so it's a non-brainer upgrade uh, for your uh, devices there are two things uh, to notice though the first one is the uh, current requirements uh, in order to be able to use these uh, operational amplifiers uh, your device needs to deliver at least at least 40 milliamp uh, power to each one of them which basically means that uh, if your device is low powered one or the pcb was not prepared for that kind of current these were not will be not able to start and you'll have no sound or uh, different dif different types of um, distortions coming from your speakers but if your device is able to deliver this 40 milliamps of power, uh, these will start up and they'll sync. They'll give you very clean, very detailed, very transparent and very fast and precise sound. So my very high recommendation goes to these modules. Uh, currently I'm waiting for delivery of uh, OPA 8 to 8 um, operational amplifiers. So I'll do the comparisons with this top of the line, current top of the line uh, chips from Texas Instruments, and I'll update the description of the video uh, with uh, that knowledge. Um, okay, what's more, the important thing to notice uh, here is the height of the modules. Well, you need to be able to squeeze them uh, in your device, and these are not uh, exactly uh, small devices. Uh, let me check the size, the official size. And the official size is... Uh, 20 by 30 millimeters. So 30 millimeters, millimeters height and 20 millimeters wide. And uh, 30 millimeters would be including the base. So I guess uh, in reality you'd need something like 25 millimeters of clearance uh, above the socket of operation amplifier and below the uh, casing of your device. So as long as your device will be able to uh, make a place for them inside, uh, I highly recommend you uh, these uh, operational amplifiers. Have fun!